Now let's look at how to combine the index and match functions. So in our index function here, I need a formula, which is going to be match, to give me the ninth row and the fifth column. The easiest way we can do it is to actually take this, copy it, and where we have nine here, just press Control V to paste it and press enter. You'll see that the number does not change. Then let's copy the second match formula. And instead of five, that's manually typed, we'll replace it with that formula. We can delete those now. So that's how you piece it together. But let's look at how to build it from scratch. Let's delete this and let's fill this in properly now, building the formulas from scratch. So we want to use index and we want to use index to go up to our income statement. Select the entire area that could possibly contain the information. And we're going to anchor the entire thing with F4. Now we need to tell it which row to look in and which column to look in. And that's where the match formula comes in. So we're going to match the line item that we're looking for here which we can anchor with F4 and tell it where to look. So it's going to look in all these items here, which we anchor with F4 and look for an exact match. Close bracket, comma, match for the time periods now, where we're going to look up a certain time period here, F4, and we're going to look for it across this entire space here. F4, comma, zero for an exact match, close bracket, close bracket again, and press enter. So revenue in 2018 should be, assuming these are in thousands, 90 million, 450, and we get that number. Now, in order to fill this down and fill it right, we just need to make sure that the anchoring is correct. So one thing that we want to move is this reference on the left here to the line item. That is cell C70. So we want C70 to only be anchored to column C, but not row 70. So we'll do that. And then with the date as well, we want it to be anchored to row 69, but not just to column E. So I make those two changes. Then I can fill it down and I can fill it right. And I should get all of the information I need. Let's look at 2022 revenue and net income. Those are the numbers. So our index match function is now working properly. Let's just bold these. And we've got a summary report here that we can use to get information dynamically. Instead of net income, let's look for gross profit. It updates automatically. Let's make sure that's correct. 2022 gross profit. That is the number. So you can see now how this works. We could even insert another row. Let's copy this and paste it here. And let's change this back to net income. And so now we've got another item in our report. We could extend the report. Let's look for 2025 as the last time period. And let's fill that right. And we get the information from 2025. So you can see how this is a very powerful tool. And let's just put a border here. And how you can easily use it to create summary reports, treating this whole model as a database.